Seems like just yesterday we were doing our initial fit out of Clarity. But after five seasons cruising around the Caribbean, the Bahamas, and the Eastern US, our girl needs a little bit of attention and some upgrades to get her ready for some trips further afield. We've just got a couple projects left before we can point our bows south once again. Just getting past Solomon's, Solomon's on our way out to the central Chesapeake. Southwest wind, you make a north-northwest track, so I think we're in for a reach today. Should be comfortable, should be very comfortable. Quick little run up to Annapolis. If the wind looks good, maybe we just should keep going. It's pretty amazing how much shipping comes through the Chesapeake. A lot of ships, and a lot of ships moving fast. I think we're learning something right now. The Patrice McCall just called us, and he's a tug and barge. And he said, uh, is one whistle okay? And I thought, like, does that mean he's gonna honk his horn at us? <laughs> honk one time at us? But Nick says that means port to port. Yep, I was right. One whistle means we're gonna pass port to port. I like that. One whistle is port to port. One whistle. A lot of traffic out here on a Sunday morning. We're passing this Masserk line. Two whistles. Masserk? Maersk? Maersk. We're passing Maersk with two whistles. <laughs> they need a paint job. How about a wrap? Do you think Burl could wrap that thing? <laughs> I bet he could. up towards Annapolis. It's beautiful out. We've got about eight or nine knots of wind. Got the code zero out. And uh, there's a little regatta going off here off Annapolis. And it's just gorgeous out. It's nice and flat, warm, and it's perfect. I heard that the sailing in the Chesapeake in September is gorgeous. Busy. There's a bit of traffic out here. <laughs> I know. You gotta keep your eyes out. We're in a regatta. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool to see all these boats out on a beautiful day. September. It reminds me of being out in San Francisco Bay on a weekend. Minus about 20 knots. Minus 20 knots. <laughs> but seeing lots of boats out, little races. Yeah, it's actually a lot warmer than San Francisco Bay too. <laughs> yeah, so it's really, <laughs> It's really nothing like San Francisco Bay at all in any way. Well, there's big tankers and there's lots of the little The waters ships. may be the same color. That's, that's true, yeah. As I've talked about before, and I will talk about many times in the future, sails are so critical to handling and performance on any boat. And our main sail is tired out. In fact, our jib is a little tired out as well. So we're gonna go in a new direction, but also, an old direction. When you find something that works, stick with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Ullman Sales, the sail maker that made the sails for this boat originally and we have been actually very satisfied with. It's just they've got a lot of miles on them now. So not only are we going with a new Ullman sail, we're going with much higher tech sails. 
We've had laminate sails on previous boats, and I can tell you it is a major step up from regular Dacron. So in order to get this right, we are going to re-measure our max luff and our max foot. Oh, I think I got to raise it. Oh. You got to get your workout. down. Yeah, so graceful. Thank you. Uh, this is the waterfront in Annapolis and you can really tell a marine town by how they treat their dinghy people. Some places you'll go where the place charges you five bucks or eight bucks or 12 bucks to tie up your dinghy so you can come on shore and use the restaurant or facilities or whatever. Towns with good nautical tradition, there's none of that BS at all. At the end of all the streets here, you can tie your dinghy up. Uh, we're at the police boat area. And we can tie our dinghy up. Even the famous Eco Alley, where I guess the big egos come tie up their boats, you can tie up your dinghy. And the only things that will cause any trouble for you are the ducks, which may leave a little deposit. <laughs> it's always about where can we take the trash? Can you believe this is one week of trash? It's the O'Kelly's dirty little secret. We make, we generate a lot of trash. I don't want to say that we're <laughs> trashy people, but we're trashy. I don't know what that is. I think we're just, you know, we're. <laughs> Yeah, you will. All right, we're out for our morning walk here in Annapolis, Maryland. What is this, four days in a row, three days in a row? Three. And what's come to light for me is that I'm in terrible shape. What we can do is we can take responsibility for our reaction to this situation. A lot of us have been sitting around. I definitely been imbibing in the goodies. Yeah, there's been a lot of like, hey, let's get a treat. Celebration. Working whatever. hard in the engines. Whatever. Let's not feel bad about yeah. it. That's in the past. And so what you're going to see a little bit more of going forward is us. For me, it's odd. Uh, Hopefully you're on board with us. I am on board. Get ourselves into shape. So yeah. uh, hopefully we won't become those obnoxious people that talk about food and working out all the time. Food? But... We're, we're going to stop eating. What are you talking about? <laughs> we just so happened to stumble upon one of Patrick Doherty's latest installments. Patrick Doherty has traveled the world to install more than 300 sculptures made with sticks and saplings. His new piece outside Maryland Hall in Annapolis was installed over a four-day period and will be in place for one to three years, depending on the weather. Doherty and his team of volunteers collected sycamore trees, sweet gum, and willow from the eastern shore. They cut branches and saplings from the ground, but left the roots in place so the trees could regrow. I wonder how they wove this together. I think that some birds helped. Oh. This is wow. wild. It says they're for rent for seven dollars an hour, but. I don't get it. Of course, I agree with the sign. I totally agree with the sign. But if you really want to stick to that, wouldn't it be be nice or perhaps go someplace else? 
You can come over and you can go to this little library. If you find my note on this town, you get a free. The O'Kellys have a new coffee company. If you send a photo of this page to info at O'Kelly Style, free coffee. My exercise Are you machine. working out? Yep. Wow, look at you go. There she goes, everybody. <laughs> I mean, throw. She wanted to. She wanted to throw away my shirt today, and I was like, we should cut that up. People are in Annapolis. Oh. We leave out dog biscuits for the passerby dog. Well, how? Well, if sugar I mean... came through here, she'd eat all of them. <laughs> you want a parrot? I want a puppy dog. I want a puppy dog. I would like it like a dog. Do you think it's a good time? Yes, I think it's a great time for you to get a dog. <laughs> One of the major reasons we came to Annapolis was to do some business for our coffee business, the O'Kelly Style Coffee. And we have a special gift that we're putting in the first 200 orders that we had to pick up here in Annapolis. I've never signed autographs before. <laughs> I know you used to do this all the time with your headshots. Oh, yeah. This is a first for me. It's pretty yeah. cool. A super huge thank you to everybody who supported us with this first roast. Hope you're enjoying your Clarity and your Megan's decaf. We wanted to send along a little extra thank you. But it's not just the photo. A few of you are going to see a little Oregon sticker in the lower right hand corner. The old golden ticket. One of those is good for a little O'Kelly Consulting, so get in touch. He comes, he comes to save the day! <laughs> you know you're a cruiser if you see someone in trouble and you hop in your dinghy. You know why cruisers do that for other cruisers? I do. Because that was us! <laughs> Long time ago, but that was us. They, they drop their boat hook as they're trying to snag the um, mooring line, and I grabbed the boat hook and I said, I was just looking for one of these! <laughs> It gave a good laugh. That's cute. It's kind of a boisterous day in here. Um, Annapolis, the the mortgage, the uh, the mooring field here. It's a lot of things. It's convenient to downtown. It's cute. It's picturesque. Not calm and quiet. Not calm and quiet at all. There's like a swell rolling through here. The wind is swirling. There's a little current too. So things got a little out of hand for them. Good job. Woohoo! When in doubt, take more of it apart. Uh, people think that. Boat work, oh wow, I better go to school to learn how to do diesel engine maintenance. Which, by the way, isn't a bad idea at all. But I gotta tell you, like time-wise, what you're really doing on boats is a lot of itty-bitty little things. Uh, this is a hatch screen shade thing. Over time, the screens seem to not want to spring back so much. And usually, it's just lint. It's just dust and fuzz and probably some salt, uh, you know, that gets in there. So anyway, the answer is always the same, disassemble, clean, and reassemble. I gotta fit this rim in around the hatch, and then I also have to hold it up while I screw it in. Okay. So it's kind of a two-person job. Stripped out. One of the screws is stripped out, so. Now I've got to find the perfect screw that will go in the hole, but the top isn't too big, so it still fits in the slot. <laughs> Typical boat job. Typical boat job. You just can't stop. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, uh... I've noticed a little bit of odor down here. Not a lot, not bad. It's not, it's not the sewage smell. The air conditioners, they create condensation, of course. And on this boat, that condensation just drips into the bilge. 
and you know most of the time it's not a lot but it has been so humid and we ran the air conditioners for a long long time when we were at the dock there and uh, so we've got a bit of water here in the bilge and there's it's not really harming anything but there's just no need to have it while Nick is doing those nasty bilges I'm gonna go ahead and clean the floors with some Murphy wood cleaner <music> looks worse than it is. I mean, it this doesn't really even smell. Um, what's awesome about the way Leopard builds these catamarans is that the engine compartment is completely separate from the living quarters. So like in our previous monohulls, bilge water frequently had like some oil in it and uh, maybe some transmission fluid, <laughs> that sort of thing. Um, but one of the reasons I want to clean this stuff out is there's enough lint and junk in here that it will clog up the bilge pumps, which we don't normally need. But in an emergency, we would need to have the bilge pumps running full bore. And you don't want to have them clogged up with anything, hair, nuts, bolts, dust, anything like that. So keep your bilges clean. I think I know what we're having for dinner. All right, we got lime and a lot of onion, yeah. tomato, and cheddar. Is this is this what I think it is? <laughs> this is called a diet taco. Diet taco. It's a diet taco because guys, we have put on some weight, COVID weight. No. We're going taco less tacos. <laughs> this is not bad. I think it helps to be hungry. Yeah. I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Um, I do miss the tortilla, I'm gonna be honest with you. But so far, since we started this diet, <clears throat> I think I've lost six or seven pounds. <laughs> uh, so that's pretty good, right? Can't I mean, you, especially can't, in one day. Yeah. Well, you're not supposed to say that. It's only been one day. No, you're not supposed to. <laughs> I'll have like three or four pieces. Yes. Thank that's you your, so much. That's your whole day's worth of bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a week's worth of bacon right here. How's your birthday going so far? Oh, it's going very well. I'm highly caffeinated. I'm jumping out of my skin. <laughs> I'm so caffeinated. Mmm. Wow. And then we're going sailing? Yeah, just unzip the sail bag. We're going to go stretch our legs. Woohoo! Real nice day here in Annapolis. You know it's a good sign when you're thinking every day about extending one more day. But we've got to sail. We've got to stretch our legs a little bit. Plus, it's my birthday. And there's nothing else I'd rather be doing on my birthday than sailing. So let's hoist the sails and get out of here. Yes, I am so excited too, but I am excited to come back to Annapolis. That's always a, also a good sign. I love days like today. We got no destination, no purpose. We're just out here for the joy of it. And uh, that's what I want to do on my birthday. Just go nowhere for the joy of it. Breezy!
did? It's hard. All right, make a wish. I wish for a speedy end to the COVID bullshit and that there is some small period of peace and ease for the world. Nice. Whoop, whoop.